Hey traders, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you another tutorial. And in this video, I wanted to cover a highly requested feature that's been asked for for quite some time and we're finally pleased to introduce it to you all. Um, this is going to be bracket order, order entry directly from a chart. So previously and up to this point, it was possible. It was more of a manual process in order to do it, or you had to place your orders from another section of the platform, whether it be the dome or order entry, and then modify and manage it from the chart. That's no longer the case. You can place bracket orders directly with one click from straight from the chart, and it's really easy to do so. So in order to get access to the, this feature, you want to make sure that you've updated your platform. You can do so by left clicking the Optimus Flow logo in the very top left corner. This is on the Optimus Flow toolbar that runs across the top of your screen. And right here where it says about for me, you're going to want to click on new version. Mine, of course, does not show that because I'm on the most recent version here. But if you haven't updated yet, just keep your eye out for that. You'll click where it says about or new version, go through the update process. And once you've updated, you'll have this feature available to you. So you can find this new section of chart trading in the very top right of your chart. It'll say show, hide, quick trading toolbar. As you can see, it's a square and about half of it is filled up in a with the white space. You're going to click on that. And as you can see, this looks pretty comparable to the dome on the right hand side. We have quick order entry for market orders, bid and ask. You can flatten your position, reverse your position, cancel orders from here conveniently as well. But as we're showing in this video, one of the most convenient things is that you can place bracket orders. So to set yourself up a bracket order, what you're going to want to do is first choose your quantity. So we have a couple of presets here. You can customize these if you'd like or you can manually adjust by left clicking up or down on the arrows or even typing in the quantity that you'd like. We'll stick with one for now to keep it simple. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to choose the time and force or your order duration setting. So you have a couple to choose from, the same ones you've seen before on the platform, good to cancel, day, fill or kill, or immediate or cancel. We'll go with the good to cancel order for now. And then what we're, you're looking for are bracket orders. So. First up, you're going to want to click on no SL. This stands for stop loss. If you see it says no, no SL, that basically means you don't have any sort of bracket order working at this time or any contingent order for that matter. So you're going to want to set up your stop loss. As you can see, when you activate it, it first displays in ticks. So all this number is saying is my stop loss is going to be one tick away from my entry order. I'm not going to do one tick for my example. Of course, you can adopt whatever you know methodology you'd like for your own trading method. I'm going to go ahead and do 16. So we're going to go four points away from our entry order, just so we don't get filled immediately and we can see this happen in real time. And I'll do the same thing with my take profit. Actually, I'll do it four more ticks away. So we'll do five points or 20 ticks. Now, from here, you have quite a few options. So if you want, you could use hotkey trading, which we've shown in another video. We've shown mouse trading, which we've shown in another video. You can use and adopt these features, you know, uh, same as you did before. Now it'll just add a bracket order with it. So let's say if I put a buy stop right here, I have order confirmations on, so I'll click yes. As you can see, we got a one stop in there, our entry order, 16 ticks away stop loss. And if we need to scroll up, we should be able to see our take profit order as well. There we go. I'll cancel this out for now. Let's do a market order so we get filled immediately. Again, we have my stop loss in place, my take profit in place. If I go ahead and press on the market order, click on yes. There we go. We can see it was a market order, so we got filled immediately. And now we have two working orders. You can check your working order section if you'd like, and you can confirm that they are in a bracket order configuration. You can see under the order type here field here, it even says OCO. So that way, you know, once one order is hit, whether it be your limit, your, you know, your take profit or your stop loss, the other order will automatically cancel out once it's hit and your whole bracket order configuration will be flattened. And then of course, like I said, this works with hotkey trading as well. So if I want to flatten this out, enable hotkey trading, maybe press S on my keyboard for sell or buy for, you know, long, you could see it also places the same configuration in here.
So for those asking for bracket orders on charts without having to manually modify it, you know, place your order and then drag a stop loss or take profit, which as you can see here, you can still do. So if you want to do a multi-order bracket configuration and attach a take profit to another working order, that's possible to do so. But again, that is up to you and your own method. We just wanted to add this to make bracket orders convenient for those chart traders. Like I said previously, before it needed to be done through, whether it be done through you know, your dome or your order entry or just manually on the chart, it can now be conveniently done through the quick order section on the right hand side of your chart. So that's really all I have to show you today. Just wanted to make it quick and simple for you chart traders out there. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to like the video down below. Feel free to leave us a comment or head over to our community forum and leave us any feedback or suggestions or comments there as well. We'd love to hear it. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.